What's up, Muscle and Strength? This is Anton Ansbob. I'm an IFBB Physique Pro and the Nutrix Athlete. Today I'm going to take you through my typical arm workout. Uh, currently I'm three days out of IFBB Battle on a Beach, which is a men's physique pro show. Throughout the year I train high intensity, do a lot of supersets, drop sets, high volume. Leading up to a show I don't change anything. I, I stay this way year round. I try to keep my weights reasonably heavy and always constantly moving. So here's a sample of, uh, of my workout. So for the first exercise, I'm going to be doing easy bar curls with uh, arm blaster over here. This old school equipment, which I uh, actually have at home, and uh, just so happen to find it here at the Muscle and Strength Gym. So uh, this thing is pretty badass. We'll use this, and uh, I'll superset that with uh, hammer curls with a slight twist. I'll show you guys how to do it. Every set, I'm going to go up, whether it's by five pounds, ten pounds, and then. Usually stay in somewhere between 10 and 15 reps. Uh, that's my usually preferred rep range. And uh, if I start failing about at around 10 to 12 reps, that's how I know I've gone you know, too heavy. So, most important thing for me is uh, is feeling the actual muscle I'm training. And uh, I want my arms to be nice and full. My tricep biceps to be even to have a nice full round shape to it. Without feeling it, you're not gonna get it to grow. Controlled reps, contraction, time under tension, and uh, the most important thing is actually feeling the muscle you're training. Now, another thing I do sometimes is uh, you know, changing the grip. So if I'm using the easy bar, I'll use the inside grip for one set, and then the outer grip for, for the following set, and then I go back to the inside grip. I like to kind of twist it, like I, when I bring it up, and I twist it slightly out, I feel like it hits my branchialis a little better. Keep my rest periods to about uh, a minute. Yeah, this thing is awesome. It makes your arms look jacked, like three times the size. A lot of people say that, uh, you know, you do so many exercises, you do so many, so many reps, so many sets. Uh, isn't that overtraining? Uh, the way I look at it is uh, if you sleep well and you eat well, you can't overtrain. So just make sure you get enough meals in you. Make sure you uh, drink a lot of water. Make sure you get plenty of rest. Uh, you know, your recovery time is just as important as your trainings. You know, most people do uh, standing cable curls. You're doing both arms at the same time. I like to concentrate on one arm at a time. And uh, as I said, I do these concentrated. So uh, same thing, slower tempo, good tension, full stretch, uh, almost like a hyper extension of your bicep to really get that extreme uh, stretch and then a full contraction. So I do one arm at a time and then I'm gonna do uh, pull downs, which most people use and do for their back. So I'm gonna do it uh, isolating only my biceps. Uh, you can do that by rolling into it and then pulling the bar into you by squeezing your biceps, leaving your back alone. Again, I start light, feel out the first set, see how I do, and then, uh, and then go from there. The reason why I'm lower is because I like the tension and resistance to come from above rather than from the side. I like to keep my elbow slightly higher. So, uh, I don't pull from the side, I pull from the top and then uh, right in. Another thing is uh, the wrist and the elbow is always aligned and stays in, in one, one panel. Basically. So one thing to notice is uh, when, uh, when it gets harder to, to lift weight, so after, say you set out to do 10 reps and you're on your eighth one, you're struggling. Instead of going into panic mode, and then trying to swing it, do the opposite. Calm down and uh, just focus on the tension. And because one arm is more tired than the other, after this, you wanna rest maybe uh, 15 seconds, 15, 20 seconds before jumping into, uh, into your next exercise, uh, which is pull downs for biceps. This 
always, I like to stay 12, 15 reps, um, and then constantly going up in weight. I feel like if I go up for my single arm cable curls, if I go up in weight, I'm just gonna lose my form. I could crank out about 10 or 12, but uh, my form's gonna go, so probably gonna stay with the same weight. For these, I could go a little heavier, so. You wanna make sure your elbow stays in one place. So once you fix your arm up, make sure it doesn't go up or down. So your elbow stays in one position. This is gonna allow you to mainly focus on, uh, on your bicep solely and not use the rest of your secondary muscles like your shoulders or the rest of your body. I keep my carbs in. You know, I, uh, I don't do anything uh, drastic, no drastic changes. Kind of keeps my energy levels up. I feel like you just gotta get your body in a consistent mode. And, uh, you know, think about it. Like, if, that's why smokers have a hard time quitting smoking because they've been smoking for so long. It's already part of their lifestyle, it's a habit. So uh, instead of going on a diet or, uh, you know, going into the gym once or twice a week and making it feel like a chore, you kind of got to make it part of your habit. You know, got to make it a part of your life. A lot of people think that just because they're training and it's in the gym for, for an hour, two hours, five, six days a week, uh, they're going to grow. You got to make sure you eat, you feed the muscle. You can train all you want, but you're not going to, you're not going to get anywhere with, a, with eating like two, three meals a day. You know, so train like a bodybuilder, eat like a bodybuilder. So uh, right now, it's gonna be my uh, third superset for buys and the last. So uh, we're gonna do three or four sets of this, depending on how I feel. And then uh, it's gonna be rope curls with uh, overhand uh, preacher curls, which is, uh, I think if I'm not mistaken, Larry Scott's favorite exercise. So my focus lately in my bicep workouts is to really hit my branchialis, as well as uh, you know to get a nice peak in my bicep. On knees, uh, instead of leaning back and using your body or using your momentum, I try to keep my reps controlled. I keep my elbows all the way in and I slightly hunch over. So there's, uh, you know, I try to prevent cheating as much as possible. And if I have to, I'll do cheating reps on purpose. So on this, I try to utilize and isolate my biceps as much as possible. So I stay leaned over, elbows deep on the pad and uh, just curl it up. I think I'm one of the only people that doesn't know how much they curl or, uh, or they bench or they deadlift. I'll start picking weights up and then depending on the day, depending on how I feel, how many times I ate, uh, you know, my energy could be lower, could be higher. So like right now, I honestly don't even know how much weight that is for uh, hammer rope curls, but uh, I'll start light, I'll pick it up and I'll feel it out. So if I could do 15 reps, just fine with it. You know, I'll do 15 reps, get the blood in there, and then uh, and I'll go heavier. Half the time, I don't know the names of exercises. I, I know how they're supposed to be performed. I know which muscle groups I need to contract, uh, which muscle groups I need to train. But uh, half of the stuff that I'm doing, I've made up along the way, uh, you know, by, again, feeling it out. All right, so uh, this is gonna be my last superset for, for biceps. I could go into something else now, so they're pretty fatigued and done. This is gonna be my first set for triceps. I'm gonna do the tricep push downs, and then I'm gonna grab the rope and do overhead extensions. The way I do this is I kinda hunch over the bar, I keep my elbows to the front, and I push it down using my tricep by pushing the bar down, basically squeezing and contracting my tries. I'm gonna go high reps on this because it's my first set, probably like 15 to 20. You wanna make sure you're not pushing down with your body. Once you, once you fix yourself in a position, just stay there. You know, just uh, leave your body alone and uh, just focus on the tries. Focus on that tension, focus on the contraction. This is just another way to still maximize as much isolation as you can on a tricep and still get a good workout without using it in a traditional way. 
Whenever I train my clients, I always tell them that the first rep sets the pace for the rest of the reps to follow. So if you do your first rep nice and proper, uh, I guess in a way it's like forming a habit for the rest of the reps uh, to be in the same manner. Nice, slow, controlled, keeping that tension and the contraction. But if you do it half-assed, the the, your entire set is going to be half-assed. I'm going to do skull crushers on the Smith. The reason why I like Smith is uh, because all you have to worry about on this is a nice good stretch and a contraction at the top, you know, keeping the tension the same way. You don't have to worry about balancing the bar, moving it up, back, because here your elbows stay in one place. Uh, when you use an easy bar, um, chances are people use a lot of their, like I said before, momentum and their elbows wiggle in and out of position. This kind of keeps your elbows nice and stationary, focusing on your triceps alone. Part of the superset for this is uh, similar to a skull crusher, but you could do this at home if you don't have a gym membership. Basically, I let, my, uh, I let all the tension sit on the edges of my palms and then push away, keeping my elbows in. So you stand back a little bit, bring your elbows all the way in, Bring your elbows just enough to touch the wall, and then push out. And then depending on how high you place your tries, you'll hit them from a different angle every time. So uh, just play around with it, see. See if you like it. I love how people say genetics. Genetics, that's like the best excuse ever. You know, uh, oh, I have small arms. It's because genetics. I can't grow my legs. Genetics. You know, like, uh, people just don't give it time to work, you know? Especially beginners. They'll start doing a routine. They'll do like three weeks of a routine that's not enough time for, for your body to adapt and to, to get used to exercises, to get used to working that muscle. Um, so, uh, I mean, consistency over time, you'll get it. My last exercise, I'm doing a closed grip uh, bench press for tries. I, uh, what I do is I scoot back a little bit on the seat so the bar lowers to my lower chest last couple of reps, instead of cheating, you know, I try to slow down my reps and then really brutally go through that time under tension for the last one or two. So uh, even though it's not a lot of weight, but it'll feel like a lot of weight when you actually do it. So. I don't bring the bar all the way down to my chest. I bring it down just enough to get a nice good stretch in and I keep my elbows slightly in. All right, so we just finished our, uh, our arms workout. Um, I'm gonna have my, uh, my carbs and my protein now. Uh, my favorite muscle infusion by Nutrix. And uh, that's it, we're gonna fuel those buys and tries. And hope you guys liked the video.